What's up you guys? Welcome to my office floor. <laughs> this is a little like impromptu video that I'm doing. Um, I'm actually doing some upgrades to my PC and I figured what the heck man I'll try and film it. Now the camera's actually underneath my desk. My desk is an L shape so it goes this way then it goes this way. It's underneath. I got a light back here. I can't really get myself into frame very good. Ooh, look at the lighting. Man, Meaty, the master of lighting on vlogs. All right, check this out, you guys. So here's what I got. And I'll explain why I'm doing all this. This is my main PC here. Do not try this at home. What I have is two Intel SSD drives here, both 1.2 terabyte drives. I've got a USB 3.1 next gen it's a card down here i've got three or i've got two samsung drives down in the drive bay here if you can see that what i'm doing right now is i'm adding this i just screwed this one into the little slot here and it's it's holding in here so this is a one terabyte ssd uh, 850 pro from samsung you can see right here 850 pro it was on sale on Amazon. Okay, so this is not comfortable. So what I'm do, what I'm going to end up here with is one, two, three, four, five hard drives, and then I'm also go, I picked up this, which is a SanDisk Extreme 900 portable SSD drive. So this SSD, this is a bigger one. Samsung makes a smaller one than this, but this one actually utilizes the USB 3.1, and it can transfer at speeds almost equal to these PCI Intel drives, which is crazy fast, like eight, 900 uh, read-write, which is really, really good. Okay, here's the reason I'm doing this, and I apologize for being out of frame, but I just, I can't, I can't get in here. Tripod's in the way. I've got uh, G, uh, GeForce GTX Titan in here, last gen, not current gen, not equal to like the 10, the 10 series, this is the 9 series Titan. Um, <clears throat> so I do not have any conventional hard drives in this computer. I've got a 500 gig SSD Samsung with the operating system. I've got another 500 gig SSD for my Steam programs and you know my games and stuff. And then I have one of these Intel cards is a direct recording card. The other one has some game overflow on it and is a backup recording. So what I need to do is put in a one terabyte to, to put all my games on this one and it'll free up this card here. So both of these Intels will be just for recording games. I have no bottlenecks, super fast speeds. I run out of one. If I play zombies and I do something else, I, I run out of space and I have to go to the backup and the backup is partially filled with some games. So I'm adding this SSD. Now this portable one is going to give me the ability to possibly record straight to this, take this out, move it to another computer and then render on the other computer with it reading and writing from this drive as I continue to play on here. What I'm trying, what I need to do is have nonstop ability to either play and record and render at the same time. The other thing is, and I can't really talk about it yet because I don't know what all the details are, but I may be having another location where I'm going to be doing recording on a permanent basis. So I need the ability to possibly move between here and there, which is going to help with this. And the other thing, all these drives are being added because my other computer where I might play some Let's Plays or playthroughs on, the other computer is going to be moved to the other location. So I won't have the ability, like I do seven, you know, seven days to die series over in that computer there and render while I'm playing on this one. And there goes my flashlight. Look at this. This flashlight's awesome. So that computer won't be accessible here. That's why this is gonna be handy. That's what I'm doing with this. I, hopefully it works out pretty good. I have no concern with this drive. 
it's the same as the two drives I have in there, it's just double the size. This one here I'm not sure about, I will test, I'll let you guys know how it works out. The speeds, the old, the double speed is you have to have USB 3.1, it's got to be that whole next generation. That's my ASUS motherboard actually came with this small PCI card to allow it, so it gives me two. USB 3 ones on the back. I've got two USB 3s up on the top front here that feed into the lower part of the motherboard. So this is a 2011 uh, uh, mother Asus motherboard. It's the Deluxe and the CPU on this one is I believe it's the 5960X. It's the beast. It's still touted as one of the best, even though they've released the next gen, which didn't actually improve on it much. And then I've got Corsair Dominator DDR4 RAM, 32 gigs of it, and that's that's what we're rocking here. Got the the Corsair AX1200. I did a video on the build of this, but here we are, more than a year later probably, and I'm doing some more upgrades to it, adding these drives. It's fun. I like I like doing this stuff. I mean, obviously, I like working in comfort. You can see me laying on the floor like sideways trying to get in the camera. <laughs> but this should work out good. It's going to give me the ability to have space on here where I can continue to record. Even if I can't start offloading and rendering those videos, they'll be on here and it won't limit me on space to continue to record. Again, no conventional hard drives in here because recording at you know, 1080p, uh, you know, 60 FPS, all of this stuff, all the quality and everything that I try and bring, it takes a lot of space up. I do lossless quality, so it, they're huge files, and it, it, you need to have this, this space in here. 1.2, 1 1.2, 1, 1, 500, and 500. That's a lot of drives. That is a lot of drives. But no conventional hard drives because they're too slow for me now. I used to use the one and two terabyte Western Digital Black drives, but their their read write is like in the hundreds, where these are in the thousands. That's these are ten times faster, nine times faster. These are in the four hundred read write speeds, which is still four times faster than than the fastest conventional hard drives. Which is the results that I have found. Your results may vary. It's like your car, it's like a work truck, it's like the bus to take kids to school. It is very specific, you know, job that it does. So if, you, if you're gonna invest money in something, like you don't just invest money in something that has one use and you may use it once in a while. This thing here is used every day, all the time, for multiple business applications, for multiple entertainment and fun applications. So I have absolutely zero regrets about the amount of money that I spent on it, specifically for those applications, and it's used all the time. Way, it's a, it's a very good investment, even though it's, ex, it's expensive. I never thought, I mean, I used to think that a $1,500 PC was ridiculous, but this thing's been going and chugged along really good. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hi.